we are headed to New York City. We're gonna be helping like produce, get backstage shots. Yeah, of, bitch. Um, <laughs> of a uh, this like live talk show at this health marketplace Space. in New York City. We are so stressed. We just ran out of class, got all the gear we needed, showered, shaved. Uh, no shirt, shirt, Matt. The official, uh, I'll be changing wardrobe once we get there, but um, goddamn, the, the work-life balance. I'm just hanging in there, man. Uh, obviously, Matt said I'm stressed as fuck, but you know, I obviously don't know how shit. I obviously don't know how to blo vlog, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. A few moments later. So I'm just like fucking pissed off that <laughs> same. Fucking that bad. like I feel like nobody's doing shit and everybody's just like smoking and living life. Like obviously, like I would love to do that. But there's no fucking time to do that. And they look at you like you're Crazy. strange. Yeah. Like it was like, oh wow, that's cool. But like in the back of his head, he's like, what the fuck? I just feel like there's not a lot of like outside of school here. Which is okay. It's getting worse. Damn it. <laughs> Look where we are. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? You look. You see me? You look at where look we at me started. Right we were in shitty Muhlenberg, and now we're in the city, and we're just living fucking life. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Oh, welcome to New. We're in New York City. I'm stressed out. I'm like really stressed. Why are you out. stressed, Matt? Why are you stressed? I know it's gonna be good. But city driving is stressful. I feel. I don't know how much time we're gonna have to set up and everything. We have to edit a little bit. We have bit. to edit. I don't know if we're gonna find parking. It's New York City, so it's gonna be impossible. But I feel like it's gonna go well. It's just at the moment, I'm just kind of like. <sighs> Isn't that where are we right now? We're in New York City. New York City, bitch. School of Rock featuring Andrew Lloyd Webber! Yeah! Yeah! Save those lives! Put out that fire! Assist with that fire! Yeah! Be a tourist! <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Kinda chaotic trip. Do I look presentable? Walking into the place now, we got all of our gear. So now we're not going to be able to film. It's going to be very chaotic. It's going to be very chaotic, yeah. Because there's so much traffic. We had class and then like we weren't able to come and early. They start streaming at 6.30. So we've got like 40 minutes to, to prepare everything. Set up and get ready. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. There we go. All right, we are back yeah. at Muhlenberg. But we just wanted to take a second to kind of reflect and talk about what happened at the event. Yeah, take your jacket off. Let's Relax, just, man. We're professionals. We have to channel your Oprah. Ready? Okay. We're gonna channel our, our YouTuber Oprah. Oprah. Okay. Oprah. This was our first kind of like big professional production that we had done. And so there's a yeah. lot of stuff that we, we experienced and learned and we kind of wanted to reflect back on that because this uh, led to other opportunities, and also we just want to like document what what happened, so we can like look back and remember and say like, oh look, that's what that was our first big thing. This was a live event, and most of the stuff we've done before was you're you're filming some production that's going to be going on later. It's not like live work that has to be perfect in the moment. So the first like 
20 minutes it was, to get in there, it was just non-stop. We were just moving. It was fun. Like, yeah. We were all freaking. Yeah. It was nice to collectively kind of just have that yeah. intensity with it. But the, it was it was like a good, like a general rush. Oh, it was stressful. You know, I remember I was so nervous going into it. I don't know what it was with me that day, but I was kind of really forcing myself to yeah. talk to everybody and make sure I was like... Yeah, I think what it is too is like, it was such a different environment of what we were used to. Yeah. And we just like came from school and we had a full day and now we're like in this like super professional cool place so like it took a little bit to, cool to adjust and, yeah. and the people there were like awesome we worked with this guy kent speakman who does this professionally so not to know. name drop but <laughs> for, for all, all his fans all out all there fans. kent speakman yeah um but like i don't know what he was expecting from us but i think it was nice to kind of be thrown in an environment with like a stranger who you're going to be working with and you're kind of yeah. collectively like we got to get yeah. this done and we have like cool, 10 minutes cool really thing. what we've learned and like it's not like a fucking like revelation but networking is so important and so we were trying to really talk to everybody and figure out what they're about um finding out if there's some way that we could help them with whatever they're trying to do yeah and one of the people we met was this um this cool guy named brian who's in this band called aura and you're gonna see my next vlog right after this. We end up helping him um, promote his band at some club, getting the venue all set up. And yeah. but like this happened because we just like talked to him and found out what he's interested in. So like yeah. networking was so yeah. vital. And I, what I learned too in that experience is that like networking like it's not all about just like promoting yourself, but more like listening and then like trying to connect yeah. yourself to to what they they're doing. I think also something that was cool about the whole event was they were like taking us seriously yeah which it's especially we're it was, at like this weird age and this yeah. weird point in time where so so they don't know what to expect because yeah. we're college students or, if we, if or we like, let our age get out then like they'll kind yeah. of think we're not as competent exactly um and so it's it like, was refreshing to to not they took us seriously yeah. we really appreciate that but it's kind of like you have to really sell yourself you have to come in there the moment we go in we have to make sure that they understand that we're, we're proving them wrong. It's an uphill battle. You have to like be proving ourselves <laughs> from the climb. beginning. Because it's what? I said it's a climb. It's a climb. Like yeah, it's like Miley like Cyrus. Yeah. yeah. Um, player. Can I sing it? Can I yeah, sing you it? Can it. Sing okay. it. Okay. Harmonizing. Okay. Uh, climb. Move it. I'm not harmonizing. All right. Anyway, we have to be professional. <laughs> so, yeah. Sell yourself. Yeah. I don't know. Here's the. Got a picture with everybody. That's, uh, that's yeah, the crew. Yeah, see that. Yeah. The crew is right there. Don't we look great? Everyone's all there. Yeah, we look happy. Bro. Make sure, check out the next vlog right here. It's really, I think this is the best work I've ever done. We go Please. into Brooklyn. We go to this club for this band with the guy we met. Check out my Instagram down below. And have a great day and subscribe. It wasn't recording. I'm just kidding.